Japan's Kansai Airport has some of the most impressive achievements, like never missing luggage and having such stellar customs experience that it has maintained some of the most positive feedback from people all over the world. But with all the glory comes a fall, and this time, it's so big that it might just blow your mind. You see, the ever-popular Japan's Kansai International Airport, or KIX, is now sinking, which is decades after its popularity. But this begs the question, how did the fall actually happen? And what is Japan's latest technique to solve an issue that could potentially be deadly for the airport, its passengers, and even for the country, since this $40 billion behemoth of an airport is contributing a lot to the economy. Let's go on a trip of the potential downfall of the Kansai Airport and Japan's plans to fix it. And if you enjoy more Mega Projects related videos, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated. Kansai International Airport was born from a daring vision in the late 20th century. This was a time when Japan was at the peak of its economic power. Designed to relieve congestion at Osaka's Itami Airport and to position Japan as a gateway to Asia, Kansai was meant to solve Japan's biggest problem, and it was overpopulation and congestion. If you look at many airports around the world, like LAX Airport in America, congestion has always been a problem. But the Japanese vision is always 50 steps ahead of the competitors, and that's how this became the birth of Japan's $40 billion huge airport. With Osaka being one of Japan's major cities and a key commercial hub, it was essential to improve accessibility, especially for all international visitors. However, building an airport in a densely populated urban landscape was virtually impossible. So the idea of constructing the airport on a man-made island in Osaka Bay came into play. And by the end of this video, you will know that even constructing an idea on the bay wasn't the best idea for Japan. While Kansai's concept was visionary, it was also controversial. Building on a man-made island presented many issues, especially the future ones that even the Japanese engineers couldn't really predict. That's because in 2024, we are seeing reports of the airport sinking, and it couldn't get scarier than that. But before we talk about the downfall, let's talk about why was this airport even built in the first place? Japan is always attracting visitors from all over the world. Just alone in 2023, more than 25 million people visited Japan, which is something that is a huge feat in itself. Kansai Airport has not only been a critical central point for Japan, but also an essential gateway for global tourism, business, and trade. As Japan's third busiest airport, Kansai holds strategic importance in the country's tourism sector, which relies on millions of international visitors each year. The Kansai region is home to iconic places, including Kyoto's historic temples, Osaka's bustling streets, and Nara's ancient sites, all of which attract tourists from around the globe. This airport has also played a significant economic role. Moreover, the airport has been quite crucial in providing international business and investors with rapid access to Japan's Kansai region. The area hosts companies like Panasonic and Sharp, adding to the economic significance of maintaining a world-class transportation hub. In addition, Kansai was envisioned as a key part of Japan's response to increasing demand for international flights, particularly with the rise of Asia as a global economic powerhouse. In simple words, the Kansai airport wasn't just an ordinary airport, but was something that would keep the whole world in Japan's reach. But now, to understand why the airport is sinking, we need to look at an even more important part, its interior and construction. Inside, Kansai International Airport is a sleek, ultra-modern space that provides an impressive experience for travelers. Its design emphasizes convenience, with a user-friendly layout, streamlined check-in and security processes, and a wide array of dining and shopping options. The airport's Terminal 1, designed by renowned architect Renzo Piano, is an architectural masterpiece, celebrated for its spacious design and efficient flow of movement. The interior of the terminal boasts an open layout 
high ceilings, and large glass windows, allowing natural light to fill the space while providing stunning views of the bay. Kansai is also celebrated for its technological innovations, which contribute to the ease of travel and efficient operations. Automated kiosks, smart baggage systems, and AI-powered customer service robots provide travelers with a seamless and futuristic experience. For those who visit, Kansai is one of the most innovative airports they will ever get to see and experience. But now, let's talk about the complex construction of the KIX Airport. The construction of the Kansai Airport was one of the most exciting yet difficult things the developers ever faced. The man-made island on which the airport sits stretches 4 kilometers or 2.5 miles in length and 2.5 kilometers or 1.5 miles in width. The original construction cost, around $20 billion, later doubled due to the complexities of building a structure that could withstand both the natural conditions of Osaka Bay and the demands of modern aviation. Engineers had to dig deep into the seabed, constructing a layered foundation that could withstand substantial stress. Creating the island required around 270 million cubic meters of landfill, and the project became one of the largest land reclamation efforts ever attempted. Over 10,000 workers and countless pieces of specialized machinery were needed to realize the project. The construction process spanned several years, with engineers constantly encountering and overcoming engineering challenges, such as ensuring the structure's stability in an area prone to natural disasters. When Kansai International Airport opened its doors in 1994, it was one of the most innovative things the world had ever seen. With an amazing interior and a tough exterior, it seemed like Japan solved everything, until it started to get worse. You see, initially, there weren't many problems associated with the airport, but as we got deeper into the working, the airport started costing a lot more to maintain and solving some of its biggest issues. Here they are. Despite the extraordinary efforts to secure Kansai's foundations, the airport has experienced significant issues over the years. The most critical challenge, and the one that continues to plague the airport today, is sinking. From the get-go, engineers were aware that the island would gradually sink as the weight of the landfill compresses the seabed. However, the rate at which the island has been sinking has been far faster than originally anticipated. But why exactly is that? Within the first decade, the island had sunk over 8 meters or 26 feet, prompting massive and ongoing adjustments to keep the airport operational. Engineers installed adjustable jacks on key structures, allowing them to raise or lower areas of the airport as needed. This approach was innovative, but it has proven to be both costly and difficult to maintain. Kansai's sinking problem is exacerbated by natural factors such as typhoons, which further stress the foundations. And if you know one thing about Japan, it's that there are massive typhoons occurring every year that even shake the buildings and cause a lot of damage. In 2018, a powerful typhoon named Typhoon Jebdi flooded the airport, causing extensive damage and forcing it to close temporarily. The same year, a tanker collided with the airport's access bridge, isolating it and revealing the vulnerability of its isolated location. Climate change adds another layer to Kansai's challenges, as rising sea levels pose an increased risk to the already vulnerable structure. The airport has had to invest millions of dollars in countermeasures, including installing taller seawalls and upgrading drainage systems. Despite these efforts, Kansai's sinking problem has only worsened, which makes us wonder whether it is even sustainable or not. But even though the airport suffered so many issues over the year, even withstanding a huge typhoon, Japan is working towards fixing the issue. To counter these threats, Japan has reinforced the seawalls around the artificial island. At first, there was a seawall already, but a 2.2 meter seawall was added on top of it. To make it even more safe, Another seawall was added on top of the runway, which was around 1 meters and gave the airport another layer of security. And finally, another seawall of 2.7 meters was added, 
which now makes this airport perfectly safe. The country even created an adjustable jack system that allows for elevation adjustments. The adjustable jacks lift or lower sections of the airport as necessary to maintain a level surface as the ground sinks. Together, these measures have kept Kansai International Airport operational despite the ongoing sinking issue. We can learn a lot from Japan and learn one important lesson, which is that even though there are issues everywhere in the world, we can fix anything as long as we work hard towards it. Do you think climate change could potentially damage the Kansai airport to a dangerous degree? Let us know in the comment down below and make sure to subscribe to Stellar Builds and ring the bell icon for more. Until next time, peace.